میں نے یہ سوچا کہ ساری جماعت کو میں اس بات پر آمادہ کروں کہ اگلی صدی میں داخل ہونے سے پہلے جہاں روحانی اولاد بنانے کی کوشش کر رہے ہیں دعوت اللہ کے ذریعے وہاں اپنے آئندہ ہونے والے بچوں کو خدا کی رام ابھی سے وقف کر دیں اور یہ دعا مانگیں کہ اے خدا ہمیں ایک بیٹا دے لیکن اگر تیرے نزدیک بیٹی ہونا ہی مقدر ہے تو ہماری بیٹی بھی تیرے حضور پیش ہے معافی بتن جو کچھ بھی میرے بطن میں یہ مائیں دعائیں کریں اور والدین بھی ابراہیمی دعائیں کریں کہ اے خدا انہیں اپنے لیے چن لے اپنے لیے خاص کر لے تیرے ہو کے رہ جائیں اور آئندہ صدی میں ایک عظیم الشان بچوں کی فوج ساری دنیا سے اس طرح داخل ہو رہی ہو کہ وہ دنیا سے آزاد ہو گئی ہو اور محمد رسول اللہ وسلم اور محمد رسول اللہ وسلم کے خدا کی غلام بن کے اس صدی میں داخل ہو رہی ہو چھوٹے چھوٹے بچے ہم خدا کے حضور یہ تحفہ پیش کر رہے ہیں اور اس کی شدید ضرورت ہے آئندہ سو سالوں میں جس کثرت سے اسلام نے ہر جگہ پھیلنا ہے وہاں لاکھوں تربیت یافتہ غلام چاہیے جو محمد رسول اللہ وسلم اور خدا کے غلام ہیں واقفین زندگی چاہیے کثرت کے ساتھ اور ہر طبقہ زندگی سے واقفین زندگی چاہیے ہر ملک سے واقفین زندگی چاہیے رائے ہے دل وقف یار کر دیکھو خیرد کو نظر جنون بہار کر دیکھو My parents were the fortunate ones who dedicated me into the Wakfeno scheme. My mother and my father were fortunate enough to be one of the first ones to dedicate um, their unborn child myself. Um, my parents de- dedicated uh, uh, my life uh, in the blessed scheme of Wakfeno. I'm also a uh, Wakf by birth and a Wakf zindagi, alhamdulillah. Being a Wakfeno from a, a young age, um, My parents have always uh, encouraged to give time to the Jamaat and developing that love for Khilafat. We were ready to serve in any way and shape or form that uh, the Jamaat needs us to be. And that's, that is the true essence of what uh, it is to be a work for Zindagi. As we look at the history of Ahmadiyya movement, that whenever Khalifatul Masih initiated, announced any scheme, either it was Tahrik e Jadeed or Waqf e Jadeed. People of the Jamaat, they enthusiastically took part in those schemes. So at this time, when Hazrat Khalifatul Masih the fourth, he announced his plan and his scheme regarding Waqf e Nau, the same thing happened here. Every parent, Every individual, either he or she, he wanted to take part, she wanted to take part in this scheme. They wrote to Huzur. In the beginning, Huzur announced that he needs few thousand people who will serve for the cause of Allah. They will be called devotee and they will be serving only in the Jamaat as a دیوٹی ورک پیا میں حق سنائیں گے گلی گلی چمن چمن مائی پیرنٹس وے دا فارچونیٹ ونس ہو ڈیڈیکیٹڈ می ان ٹو دا ورک فینو اسکیم اینڈ آئی بلیو دیٹس ون آف دا بگیسٹ فیور دے ڈیڈ آن می بیکاز اٹ از دا ریسپانسبلٹی ایز ہزو ایز مینشن اگین اینڈ اگین دیٹ ونس پیرنٹس ڈیڈیکیٹ دا چائلڈ they need to look after the proper upbringing of their child. Now, I remember from a young age, my mother used to teach us the Waqfeno syllabus and the Talimi Tarbiyati syllabus. She used to teach us etiquettes, how to behave when you go, for example, to Ijlasat, to different gatherings of the Jamaat. They instilled the love of Khilafat in our hearts. یہ پیار کا 
considering looking at other jobs and it basically came to that point where I was like is that really what, really what I want to do with my life I mean I was quite settled in my job um, it was a good company I was, I was happy there but basically I just thought I could earn more money um, just for the same role somewhere else so it came to that junction where I was like do I really is that what I really what I really want to do is that my purpose in life and obviously it's not so again I wrote to Azu at that point saying I'm ready to dedicate my life um, and obviously Allah's will the way it happened is at, this, at that same kind of time, I received a, a phone call from MTA. Um, so my uh, one of my brothers in Wakfinor, who I saw in Wakfinor Shtamaz regularly, was working was a full time work, um, and he knew of my uh, desire to do work for, to do work for, uh, work So he informed MTA, who were looking for more uh, applicants, looking for more work in the to come full time. Then he informed them of myself and my situation. So I came in, met the MTA production department. Um, and basically from then, alhamdulillah, they took my application to uh, beloved Hazur, and Hazur accepted my Bakr the application at that time. <laughs> I'm a Bakr I'm I've I've been serving since 2013, and alhamdulillah, I've been serving as an architect for the Jamaat for nine years now, alhamdulillah. My first posting was um, serving um, in a project in Spain in Valencia, um, alhamdulillah. And then since then, um, as the years passed, by, passed um, I was able to serve on, in many, many projects. Um, among them was um, uh, the, the Jamia Ahmadi International um, Hostels in Ghana. <laughs> One day when I was going back from my school and I was sitting in the bus and I just had these 30 seconds where I thought and I was reflecting about life and I had these two choices. Should I go to Jamia or should I um, do my um, worldly education? So at that time I asked myself, what's the purpose of life? Why am I here? And the final conclusion which I made is that, and I believe it was Allah Ta'ala who put it in my heart, that the reason why you're here is to serve Jamaat. And this is what your purpose is. I'm also a uh, waqf by birth and a waqf zindagi, alhamdulillah. Um, so as obviously I grew up, uh, I was able to attend Huzu's classes from a young age, alhamdulillah, and have his blessings and prayers. But I think the initial thing that stays with me since up now, uh, up until now, is that on one of our mulaqats with Huzur, uh, uh, my mother mentioned how all of her children are waqf. And uh, Huzur in, in this instance said that that means that none of the children are yours. In, um, Meaning that, you know, because we're waqf, my parents can't depend on us financially or in any other sorts because we could be, you know, sent anywhere around the world. So I finished my uh, education in 2012 and after seeking guidance from Hazur Anwar, um, I was asked to look for employment in the field of chemistry, which was my area of study. So uh, after each year during my experience, I would report back to Huzur and um, he would advise that I should continue my experience in the field. Um, about three years had passed and um, that was back in 2016, I received a letter from um, the Wakfanor department and in the letter it said there is a need for teachers in Africa and that I had been, my name had been um, shortlisted into the uh, possible candidates for this role as a teacher in Africa for science. <laughs> <laughs> 
है दिल के पास बाद हम कहफ के ना जवान हम I remember in 2005 when Jamia was inaugurated here in in UK in London at that time uh, I remember those fortunate murabian or students who were studying in Jamia in the UK they they had so much love and so much attention of Khalifa Iwak that uh, I I was also moved by by that and uh, I also wanted to jo- join Jamia in the UK and I, and I remember that before uh joining Jamia in the UK at a formal mulaka with Hazur Anwar and i mentioned that i'm waqfino and as a waqfino you know we have to dedicate ourselves for the jamaat and i'm just choosing which which path to choose and i wanted to join Jamia in the UK what was your opinion on that and i remember beloved azur he he looked at me and he said that is going to be tough it's going to be difficult um and he and he guided me in that mulaka and i remember coming out of that mulaqat um i i wanted to join jamia in the uk so it's it's a, it's a great blessing being a waqfino um and be it jamia in the uk or any other field we we should give our time to the jamaat when huzur looked at the love and the sincerity of the people huzur said that i was astonished how they are ready to sacrifice their children their unborn children for the cause of allah and islam first this scheme was started for 2 years and then while looking at the applications received by the office ps office of huzur huzur announced it that now this scheme will be constantly continued in jamaat history apni duniyavi taleem ke dauran mukhtalif dauron se guzarte waqt jamaat se puche कि हमें किस लाइन में जाना है बजाय खुद फैसले करने के लाइन मंतखब करने के बारे में वाकफी ने नौ लड़के पहले भी मैं कह चुका हूँ कि जामियात में जाकर मुरबी और मलक बनने को पहली तरजीह दें इस वक्त इसकी ज़रूरत है जमात फैल रही है अल्लाह तला फसल से ना सिर्फ उन मुल्कों में नई जमातें कायम हो रही हैं जहां जमात के क़्याम को लंबा अरसा गुजर गया है बल्कि नए नए ममालिक भी अल्लाह ताला जमात को ताफर मार रहा है और वहाँ जमातें कायम हो रही हैं और हमें हर मुल्क में बेशुमार मुरबियान और मुबलगिन चाहिए इसी तरह स्कूलों के लिए टीचर्स की ज़रूरत है डॉक्टर्स और टीचर्स के लिए तो लड़कियां और लड़के दोनों ही काम आ सकते हैं इसलिए इस तरह तोजो करें कुछ आर्किटेक्ट और इंजीनियर्स भी चाहिए जो तमीरत के शोबे के माहिर हों ताकि मसाजिद मिशन हाउसेस, स्कूल अस्पताल वगैरह की तमीर के कामों में सही निगरानी करके और प्लानिंग करके जमाती अमवाल को बचाया जा सके कम पैसे में ज़्यादा बेहतर सहूलत मुहैया की जा सके फिर पैरा मेडिकल स्टाफ भी चाहिए उसमें भी आना चाहिए ये तो वो चंद बास अहम शोबे हैं जिनको जमात को फिलहाल ज़रूरत है आइंदा ज़रूरियात हालात के मुताबिक बदलती भी रहेंगी यहाँ मैं तलबा को यह भी कहूँगा कि वो साइंस के मुख्तलि शोबों में रिसर्च में भी जाएँ और इसमें अमूमी तौर पर वाकफी ने नौ भी और दूसरे स्टूडेंट्स भी शामिल हैं साइंस के मुख्तु शोबाजात की रिसर्च में हमारे बेहतरीन साइंसदान पैदा हो जाएँ तो आइंदा जहाँ दीन का इलम देने वाले अहमदी होंगे और दुनिया दीन सीखने के लिए आपकी मोहताज होगी वहाँ दुनियावी इलम देने वाले भी अहमदी मुसलमान होंगे और दुनिया आपकी मोहताज होगी ऐसी सूरत में वाकफी ने नौ बेशक दुनिया का काम कर रहे होंगे लेकिन बुनियादी मकसद ये है और जिसको हर एक को जानना चाहिए कि मैं वाकफ ज़िंदगी हूँ और किसी वक्त भी मुझे दुनियावी काम छोड़कर दीन की ज़रूरत के लिए पेश होने का कहा जाए तो बग़ैर किसी उधर के 
بغیر کسی ہیل و حجت کے آ جاؤں گا